morning T squad. Look at this nonsense. So when I, so in that night, when I was going to use washing my, I turned on the light and I seen them right here. Right? Like these guys are out of control. They've now moved to the bathroom. This little mister has two toothbrushes. And this missy has the toothpaste and the toothbrush. I think what happened, Carol? What? I think you guys left a big mess in here with your toothbrushes and your, your toothpaste and they came in here to hold your stuff ransom because you guys don't clean up after yourselves. <laughs> I think that's what happened? I don't know. <laughs> Good morning, Cali Sade. What are you doing this morning? I'm going to play on it because I'm just um, braiding her hair because this way I can then twist her hair. Oh. So I'm just putting it into this ponytail. Okay, so you're getting your Barbie's hair done for the day? Yes. Alright. Morning, baby. Coming. Huh? Morning. Oh. <laughs> Uh, so guys, uh, let me tell you what's going on today. So yesterday, I'm shaving my hair today. Are you really? I should. I'm supposed to get braids, but I'm just gonna pull my hair out. More. Just do it. Can you just do it today? No, for real, just do it. So that might happen today. But yesterday, remember how we went Christmas shopping for each other? Well, Keisha told me she ended up getting way more stuff for me than I got for her. So I have I didn't to go, get you don't just, know if I got more stuff. Okay, well That's we had a budget. Okay, let me let me rephrase. We had a budget set out for each mm. other where it's like we decided how much we're spending on each other. After we're done shopping for the day and I'm like so happy, I'm like, yes, my Christmas shopping is finally done. You're not gonna see me in a mall again until well after January. And then Keisha tells me she went way over budget. I had to confess. So now I have to go back. I can't be the one who like I, Okay, but I couldn't also, I couldn't just be sitting there in all my glory and being like, <laughs> you know, keeping the secret. I had to mm -hmm. at least let you know. I appreciate you letting me know. But now I have to go back to the mall because I have to, I have to like at least be in the same ballpark as Keisha. I can't let her get me way more stuff than I get her. I so. didn't get you more. How do you know I got you more? Okay, stuff? I don't mean more items. I mean like I have to match the budget that you spent on me. Otherwise, it's just not, it's not the same. So... We're getting this day popping. Dad? What's so funny? Yeah? Uh, I was going to... Uh, I forget. So Callie just told me about a crazy dream she had last night. You want to tell T-Squad? So Karina hit her baby boy and then her mom turned into a monster and then his dad her dad and 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 he turned into a monster too. Oh my gosh. That's, that's Callie's cousin if you didn't know. Callie, what are you doing to get these type of nightmares? Huh? You watching scary movies before bed? Do not believe. Yeah, come here, the mess is still here. The mess is still here. Uh oh. Callie. Oh, Callie. <laughs> It's alright, she didn't mean to. Hey, the tree is fixed up again. Now we just no. gotta put the star back on. Every little thing is gonna be alright. Don't worry. Alright, T Squad, I just dropped the kids, pulled up to the gym. Yo, this is the first time in so long I'm coming not to lift weights, not to do cardio but to actually play basketball. And if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I used to play tons. Like basketball used to be my life. Honestly, 2018, I'm trying to get back to my roots. I'm gonna be playing ball a lot again. I even might play in like a league or something if it works out. So before I even think about doing any of that though, I gotta get my skills back up. So let's get it.
back at the mall again, thanks to you, Keisha. But it's all good. I'm, all jokes aside, I'm actually enjoying it. It's fun to surprise your significant other. And now I've got a whole nother round of shopping to do to make sure my missus gets spoiled like she always does. Um, so yeah, I'm back in the mall. Fresh outfit. Um, and yeah, guys, wish me luck. It's like deja vu. I swear I said this exact same clip yesterday. So deja vu. You guys see the smile on my face? T-Squad, I'm officially done Christmas shopping. Woo! What a relief. Don't get it twisted. I do enjoy Christmas. Giving gifts to people is like one of the most rewarding feelings in the world. It's like such a good feeling to give. But at the same time, shopping, being in the mall, it's extremely draining. Drains like your time, drains your energy, and it drains your pockets big time. <laughs> So I'm officially done, um, yeah, unless Keisha goes and like gets more stuff and then I have to try and match her again. But you know what? Christmas is not about being materialistic. Um, it's about, you know, just giving as much as you can. Um, obviously you don't want to go like broke or anything, but giving as much as you can while keeping yourself, you know, it, above water. You don't want to put yourself under just Christmas shopping, but giving as much as you can. And uh, you know, the thought, like it sounds cliche, but really like, if you guys are still Christmas shopping, you can just get something small. It doesn't even have to be expensive. Just make sure it's meaningful. Something where it's like the person you're giving to knows that you put in thought into the gift. And those are usually the best gifts, regardless if it costs $5, $10, $100, $1,000. It doesn't matter. It's really about the thought that goes into the gift. Anyways, I'm done. I'm happy about that. Um, I'm home now, as you guys can see, because we have a package coming to the house and Keisha is not here she's doing her hair and she wanted me to be here to make sure the package is secured got to secure the bag um so i'm home and this is so rare guys like i hardly ever am home home alone especially during the day so i really don't know what to do with myself right now i'm probably gonna wrap some presents um i'm probably gonna read too i need to catch up on my reading i recently started reading dj khaled's uh book major key um, I'm a huge DJ Khaled fan, as you guys know from all like the DJ Khaled uh, memes and stuff I put in the vlogs, his little clips. He's dope and he inspires me. So I'm going to get to reading, rapping gifts, and I'm just going to be chilling here until my family comes home. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're going to always be my... All right, update, guys. I had like a half hour nap after I read for a bit, but I'm up again. I thought, like, what type of a husband and father would I be if I just stayed home and did nothing and waited for my family to come home, knowing that they would come home hungry? So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to chef up a meal. He's just always asking me to cook, and it's not because she's like, oh, I wish my man could cook. Like, come on, just please learn how to cook. It's because when I do cook, I make good food, so then she craves more of it, but I hardly ever do it. But this is going to be the start of Chef Trey getting back on his game. So tonight I'm making teriyaki salmon with vegetable fried rice and I'm making everything from scratch tonight. All right guys, even the sauce, I'm making my own teriyaki sauce. Got a concoction of different things here. Some brown sugar, some ginger. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be lit. Got the salmon right here, fresh salmon. All my ingredients. I'm about to go to work y'all and trust me when I say this food is about to be lit. All right, the rice up, bubble up, bubble up. Ooh, jeez, bubble up. Um, okay, camera's, camera's done. Camera's broken. No. All right, there we go. Rice is bubbling up. Uh, veggies are boiling. Actually, they're done right now. Can't have the veggies too soggy, you know? So just gonna have the veggies ready. So when the rice is done, we put the veggies in the rice to make it nice and vegetable-y. Got the salmon marinating in the sauce. Mmm. Oven preheated. And everything is smelling good AF. All right, salmon is in the oven now. And the remaining homemade teriyaki sauce, I'm gonna bring it to a boil. Then let it cool down a little bit, let it simmer, let it get a little bit thick, like a syrup. And I'm gonna glaze this on the salmon after it comes out of the oven. All right, I added the veggies and some soy sauce and seasoning to the rice. Look at that, guys. Mm, 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 mm. Teriyaki syrup's almost ready and two minutes until the salmon's ready. All right, are you guys ready to be impressed? Like, I'm talking like really impressed. Hey, so this is the finished result. And also, I thought the whole fam was coming, but it's just gonna be me and the wife. What's up, babe? Hey. 
Oh, I like your hair. Thank you. So, baby. Ooh. Right here we have. This is complex. Yes. So we have vegetable fried rice, mm -hmm. and we also have um, sweet ginger teriyaki salmon. Sweet ginger? Where'd you get ginger from? <laughs> Don't worry about where I got stuff from. It's all. But one thing I want you to know: everything is made from scratch. Ooh. So it's not like I bought the sauce and just heated it up. It's made from scratch. Mm -hmm. My plate. I am impressed. You know what the funny thing is? What? Camaro was complaining about how hungry he was. So I had to do something at the mall. So then I got him some food. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wouldn't it be nice if daddy cooked more? <laughs> He's like, yeah, because I had three sandwiches yesterday. <laughs> oh, he did not have three sandwiches. <laughs> Camaro's so like, quick yeah, to throw me under the bus. Nice. He did not have three sandwiches. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, it would be nice if daddy cooked a bit more. <laughs> and then, yeah. And then I cook nice. and they didn't come. So I was, I honestly made enough for all four of us, but Keith dropped the kids. Anyways, last part of the dinner is the bottle of wine, chilled yes. bottle of wine. Chill that wine, babe. All right, baby, dig in. Let me know how it is. Ooh, you take the first okay. bite. Snapchat my meal first. All right. All right, so as a gentleman, you have to pour the ladies' glass of wine first. Mm hmm I'm liking this. There you go. First bite. Mmm. <laughs> no, hold on. <laughs> mm -mm. Wait a minute. What? Is that what it takes? Is... <laughs> <laughs> Speechless? You don't have no words. All we have to do is get married sooner and I can be getting meals like this? <laughs> I don't believe you. Yes! She loves it, guys. So, a successful dinner. Let me wow. have my first bite on camera. Mmm. 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 Alright, how much stars no, out of 10? That's not fair. <laughs> Said I've been holding out on you. <laughs> Yeah, these sidekicks and KD meals you've been making. <laughs> Babe. Out of 10, what do you give it? Yo, this is better than like Moxie's, okay? Hey, so mm. it's like what? what? What would you give it out of 10? Come on, give it to me, baby. What, what is it out of 10? Give it to me. Round of applause. <laughs> oh, it's not even a number, it's a round of applause. Yo. Hey, all right, I'm gonna drink to that. 10? 10 times 10 out of 10. Are you serious? No, you're just trying to make me feel good. Mm, this is good. Cheers, babe. Cheers, I love it. When she eats every single grain of rice, that's when you know she wasn't just saying it, she really, really loved it. And this is just the start, T-Squad. Count me on it. Like, you guys have to be there and be like, Trey, like you said you were gonna cook. When's the last time you cooked? Be on top of me because it feels good to cook, you know? T-Squad, this channel is slowly turning into a cooking channel. Because we are now about to bake. <laughs> Why are you like, I'm trying to walk and it's Yo, like, bang. You got clothesline. So we are now about to bake um, Christmas Rice Krispies for Camaro because his class is having what? You can finish the sentence. What is his class having? A Christmas party? Yes. So why can't you just say that, babe? Because you're like, what? <laughs> you're so, so, right now. so his class is having a Christmas party tomorrow. So we're cooking Christmas Rice Krispies. And we just went on a mission to find these, so they better turn out proper. We went to two different stores, and <laughs> yeah. So Wait, we bought... did you just say they better turn out proper? Yeah, they better. Well, you know what? I'm in the kitchen helping, so they're gonna turn out good. No, you're not helping with this. Chef Trey is here. You're not helping with this. This is not your forte. What? Like cooking is okay, but like baking and stuff like that, you haven't entered that realm quite yet. So after that proper meal that you gave me a round of applause for. Baking is more complex After than After that, you don't trust me to bake some freaking Rice Krispies I don't trust you, I'm just saying, baking is a lot more complex than cooking. You no, know fine, do your thing, I'll be upstairs chilling. No, yeah. don't chill. So what do you want me to do? Me. Stay and do what? <laughs> and that is a wrap. And that is also gonna end up the vlog, T-Squad, because yo, we ain't got no kids. We ain't got no kids. We ain't, we, ain't got got no kids. Kids. we ain't got no kids. We ain't got no kids. We ain't got no kids. So we're gonna go turn up. We're gonna stay up to like 4 a.m. Party, go to the clubs, drink, get drunk, go crazy. Just kidding. You guys know damn well we're gonna get in our bed, <laughs> watch like half hour or an hour of TV shows or a movie, and knock out. Because when you get to our age, 
All you really want to do is sleep when you get the We're chance. We're not old though. We're not old, but like we've had kids for eight years now. So mm -hmm. now it's like, damn, when you get a minute to yourself, you just want to kick back. A few moments later. So we were just talking about having no kids for the night and look who showed up at our front door. And thank you guys for giving me a gift. What's up? What's up, Eli? <laughs> You're always so happy.